See, sometimes you got to re-engineer some things. And what I mean by re-engineer is take it apart, see how it works, and put it back together. Now, let's re-engineer where I was supposed to be at and where we ended up at. Because it's messing up the whole culture. Look. They started hating on me, trolling on me. I had to come on the internet to speak my piece. Say my side. The, why they started hating on me is because I came to give y'all the game. The game master. Yes. I was here to show y'all the experience, real estate, stock market, entrepreneurship, how to be successful, show you things. Remember, I was posting videos of my mansions. I was posting videos of houses. I was rebuilding all of this. And then they came and got mad at me because I'm from a certain area that they say they from. And it challenges everything that they was pushing. It makes them somebody faking and phony. And it ain't me. This shit all real. Man, you don't even need the eyes to see. Listen, bro. Let me let me get to the point. And this is my whole thing. So when you seen the nigga bitch, right? When you seen the nigga bitch, try to, you feel me? Slander me. It's because they look, they ain't I ain't touch none of them. They hating on me. And I go against everything they about. But before I I before I even knew that. Now, let me give you some experience. Motherfucker, the streets. I ain't even acting like they dead. They they been dead. But you could go so much further. Don't you just want to be normal? Being normal. And not letting these motherfuckers influence you to do the wrong things. See, they got mad at me. This nigga crime tried to get me to buy some guns for the hood. I'm like... What the fuck would I do something like that for? That's the most poly shit in the world. I should not buy so much of this shit and buy guns for these little niggas. What's his plan? I said, no. See what I'm saying? Here's my thing. I said, why don't we all just monopolize? Why don't we all just learn? the proper skills and build and create something that we can all call a community because y'all don't got a community. See what I'm saying? There's nothing there for you to coalesce or build or grow off of. It's all bad. Let me get to my game real quick because really I was just here to give you game, but now I got to give you the when, where, and how. <laughs> Listen. 3.5%. It's all it take for you to put a deposit on the house. 3.5%, that's all they asking for a first time home buyer. So, somebody at Walmart, if they really wanted to, it, they could do better than somebody who working at a Fortune 500 company. You just got to play the game how it's been made and not try to cross it up. And that's where you got to keep that welfare nigga bitch mind frame out. You're you going to be raised around a bunch of women that don't talk like this. That can't talk like this. If you on motherfucking Section 8, you on government aid, child support and all that shit. What these people, these bitches that run the house like... Some people got to run their house because they shit ain't together with lies and deceit and just keeping you blind to things. So why would somebody who ain't got no credit, why would somebody who not set you up to go ahead and in? These people, these bitches, nigga bitches are pathetic. Like no cap, you know how many people running around right now without at least $50,000 in credit in their pocket just in case for any for a rainy day? That's crazy. You see how it's levels to this shit? 
You see how some humans can assume or treat other people or think y'all not human? Because we don't understand how you motherfuckers go day to day barely making it. Like, why would you do that to yourself? So 3.5% is all you need to buy like a $400,000, $500,000 house. And what I mean by that is, let's say, let's even say they want 5%. Damn. So five percent of five hundred thousand. What's that? Twenty five thousand. That's all they want. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got that. <laughs> you can't save that up. But you walking around with thousands of all these sneakers and all that. Your priorities is fucked up. You know why? Cause you know, at the end of the month. Your rent going to be half what it's supposed to be for everybody else. And see, anybody who really paying rent, you got to understand one thing. You already paying a little bit extra plus what we pay on our mortgage. Yeah. Yeah. Period, point blank. But you don't have the benefit of turning around and saying, I got equity in this bitch. Now, go look out your window motherfucker because this is all it took for a motherfucker like me go look out your window and say this car parked on the road broken down oil spots donut marks trash everywhere raggedy lawns loser ass neighbors i remember i was in the hood one time and the neighbors would be oh i gotta go man shut the window put the tv in front of the window <laughs> That's how ugly it was outside. And I said, man, you know what? You ain't got to have no hell of a partner or nothing. Man, bitch, you make 20 some dollars now. Man, listen, we ain't going out. We ain't buying nothing. We finna get the fuck up out of here. And I'm going to give you some more game. A lot of y'all in a position where y'all could probably successfully make it out, but you never went down to your local bank. And that's why they have all these banks around with people working in them that are literally explained to you on a piece of paper what you'll actually need to get this, get a house and get in a position. For, you ain't even checked in yet. And now y'all talking about family. If your, if your whole family, generation after generation, don't own shit, is it really a family? How many niggas it take to screw in a life, bitch? That's that's what the man when it came by his life been playing with you niggas. How many niggas do it really take to screw in one light bulb? You ain't figured it out yet. Stop letting these nigga bitches bring you down, cause now you dealing with generations of niggas in their twenties. They think they men because their mama ain't never had a man in their house. They been a man. They think they grown up and do grown and grown up shit. Living up under a bitch, not paying no bills, not having no skills or nothing. You see what I'm saying? And now you got a whole generation of black men that follow that, that act like that's cool, the influence. Bro, wake up. That way of thinking, I'm here to tell you that it pays me because... No, it ain't enough for one of us to make it. We going extinct as motherfucking a race of human beings, man. You can say it's conspiracy, anything you want, but listen, bro. I'm just keeping it real. When I look on the news, it don't matter if our city or not, bro. It's black people getting killed like it's normal, bro. And ain't none of y'all got nothing. So what the fuck, y'all? Come on, now. <laughs> if all y'all ain't got nothing, it'd be too... You see what these immigrants is doing? They moving in the 30, 30, 30 in one house and... Oh, that bread, we got that. Bro, you got $20, you got $20. Man, we all in this motherfucker. And they gonna build and outdo y'all. They gonna come to your neighborhoods. They don't know what y'all get mad for because they gonna be like, right, we, be, we gone. Y'all ain't noticed the immigrants be gone. Even if it take a generation for them, they're going to move to that hood and either buy that house to keep circulating more 
Man, y'all remember my Asian bitch, Jew? Bruh, they kept using them visas to bring more Filipinos over. Fast forward 20, 20 years from now, them motherfuckers then assimilated and became Americans, doctors, <laughs> dentists, working for the state, working for the police department. You see what I'm saying? I don't know what you talk. I ain't come from no what, nigga. I'm Man, owning hella homes. Y'all got to stop letting people out, do y'all? This is my whole thing. Why do we have a culture that we can influence the whole body of American people? But we ain't got shit to show for it ourselves. Come on, bro. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I'm here. Nigga, I've never been a hater. Why was motherfuckers hating on me if this was just my message and just my whole get down anyway? It was a nigga bitch. Come to find out, this nigga bitch that lived in hella houses every time they trapping out of them. On Section 8. Then you gotta analyze, how am I gonna fight these women? Because next thing you know, as soon as a bitch, a nigga bitch say something to you, you're, uh, the gang coming. You, How many of us have friends oh man you know bro i hate you niggas that be funking over a bitch that bring the gang in it that ain't real politics man imagine how many niggas would be live if these bitches just acted like other cultures because i swear if a bitch diss me, I'm going straight at her family because I know what it is. And I'm going to assume you sent her at me because uh, I'm a man. Never been had my booty hole cracked open. Nigga, not to hide no drugs in it. <laughs> See, y'all prison niggas want to talk. Y'all got online talking. Dude, what you do, nigga? Why you the king, nigga? What you do, nigga? Nigga. How many times you done had to crack your ass open? This you niggas. Like, right? It's a painful experience if you even, you know, for the women that like to do it, you know, in the butt. You know what I'm saying? But y'all niggas end up hiding whole phones in this motherfucker. I just want to know, did you have to have help? Getting busted open like that, so you oh the police coming, nigga. Ah, nothing. <laughs> you got your, oh, oh. We out here in the free world, nigga. Not even half of the challenge our manhood like you motherfuckers didn't already sold jaws, squat and cough motherfuckers. And a whole knife come about that motherfucker. I, 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 <laughs> you nigga, you got hit with the boo boo knife, dude. Get hit with the boo. Fuck getting hit with the boo boo knife. Bruh. Bruh, you better shut the fuck up and hit that like button, nigga, and act like you like something. If you ever had a boo boo knife in your. <laughs>